Hello everyone and welcome to another Nothing But Fishing. You join me on the banks of Viaduct Fishery once again. I did a session here or two last summer I believe. It might have even been the summer before but it's been a while since I've been up here and I've come up with one idea in mind and that's to be surface fishing. Already I've got some fish feeding behind the camera. I've just been flicking out some uh, free offerings, getting them feeding confidently and then I've also got a sleeper rod just down in the left margin just in case any fish patrol up and down the margins and fancy a little grub about in there. So that's the plan for today. It's glorious sunshine. I'm currently in the shade because although it's only just gone eight o'clock, 20 past eight, it's already absolutely baking. I think it's low twenties already. Um, and it's meant to be getting up to about 22, 23 today as well. So it's gonna be a hot and sunny one, but hopefully that means fishing on the surface is gonna be perfect. There we go, fish number one. I've been feeding all the fish on the surface, going absolutely mad up there. And then I saw my bottom bait rod, which is in the left margin, stripping line to the right. So it picked me up, gone past me, and swam down the right margin. And this is the culprit, so uh, fair enough. They're all feeding on the surface, so I put the surface rod out while I was doing me this one. That one went off, and unfortunately I just lost it. So that's a take on each, but one landed, and this is the result. Let's get him back and hopefully have a few more. There we go, fish number four. I was watching this one, trying to suck it in for probably about 10 seconds, and eventually did, and sure enough, the bolt machine whizzed away, and we were in. Probably about the same sort of size as the first one. Tried to do me in the left margin, but just about got them in. But they are having it on the surface. And that makes it number five. Barely having time to set the cameras up, put the rod back out, release the other one, and this one was away again. Pretty little thing. Very wriggly on the mat, so we're getting back. Find some shade, because I'm absolutely cooking and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Back you go. So far I've had five fish, one of those is on the bottom and I've lost a couple on the top as well. I've made a few adjustments, so I thought I'd quickly talk you through the setup that I'm using for today. I've got a 12 foot, two and a quarter pound test curve cart rod, lovely soft tip, nice strength in the butt section to get them in, but that just cushions the lunges. And then I'm down to a bolt machine, I think this is the medium sized one, a long tail rubber or a anti-tangle sleeve and then down to a four foot hook link. I've gone quite long because I was using a two foot one and um, they were so finicky that I was getting, for every fish that I did land, I was getting probably about 15 or so abort it takes, really frustrating. So I switched over to a longer hook link and uh, it worked. So I've had quite a few fish now. That's down to a size eight floater claw with a little bit of tube in just to cover up the shank and exit the eye to keep the line exiting the eye at a nice angle. So you've got a nice wide gape. And then I've got the surface bait on a hair i've got that as tight to the hair uh, to the shank as possible a few whips down and then a few whips under that kicks the hair out directly sort of right angles from the hook and makes it sit perfectly above it and that silhouettes the hook sits naturally and that's what's, what's been doing the business for me i've got floating line on here little reel and it's just been great sport There we go, another tiddler. Not sure whether this is number five or six, but uh, very welcome all the same. Again, probably only about six pound and super lively. So let's get it back. There we go, I'm not sure whether this is fish number nine, 10 or 11. I've kind of lost count, but another one off the surface, probably the biggest of the day, quite a nice looking fish as well. And uh, all been great fun. I'm absolutely cooked in the sun, didn't bring any sun cream, so I'm gonna be feeling that later. 
a happy day. It's a lovely day on the surface. And probably a couple more casts, but then I'll be shooting off. Try and get some photos of this one, then we'll slip it back. There we go, another real pretty mirror. And uh, like I said, I've brought the bottom bait rod in probably mid morning, I forgot to say that. Didn't bother using it anymore because it was just going too mad on the top. I didn't need enough, another rod. So we are, I'm not sure. I think we're creeping up to the number 20 mark. Not really sure. As you can see from behind me, the viaduct. It's a beautiful fishery, lovely fish. And one of my best ever surface sessions. Happy days, let's get it back. Well, it's now five o'clock and I really do need to go. It takes about 40 minutes to get home, but it's kind of rush hour now, so it might be a bit longer. And uh, I've got five aside tonight and I'm the organiser, so I kind of need to be there. I think I'm going to have to swing by Tesco's as well and get some uh, after sun. That's going to sting in the morning. But what an incredible session. It's been great fun. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please like the video if you did and subscribe to me if you haven't already for more content like this. And uh, please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Nothing But Fishing. Do a lot of stuff uh, between sessions on there and behind the scenes. I've been doing some updates on there today as well. So that's me done. I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a blinding day. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.